This story is going to sound crazy, but I swear it's all true. My sister Jocelyn and I used to run a greasy spoon out by the highway. But we had bigger plans. I was an up-and-coming rodeo star, and Jocelyn was going to be the next Tammy Wynette. But our dreams were shattered the night she was kidnapped by aliens. This is what happened. It was late, and we had just closed the diner. We were heading home, and Jocelyn popped in her new demo tape. All that girl needed was a break. Well, she got it all right. Suddenly, a large, freaky-looking animal darted out in front of the truck. I was dazed, but Jocelyn went out to see if it was still alive. She was horrified. It was a huge, ugly bunny. I was crazy scared. But before I knew it, an eerie green light sucked Jocelyn and that dead bunny up into the belly of an alien spacecraft. It took off like a missile toward that dark mountain my daddy told me never to climb. I thought I was dreaming, but something lying in the road caught my eye. It was the dead bunny's gun belt. I grabbed the weapons and sped off to that forbidden precipice we called Bunny Butte with vengeance on my mind. But the space bunnies, they were waiting for me. I knew that if I was ever to see my sister again, those space bunnies must die! Man, this is just like an X-Files. Zombie juice. Juice. Whew. Okay, we're at the top of Space Bunny Mountain where the saucer took my sister Jocelyn. Somehow I gotta break in so I can rescue her. But these bunnies have some weird contraptions that I gotta figure out first. These kooky objects must be here for a reason. Maybe if I mess with them, I can find a way inside. must have some significance. I bet it fits into some kind of machine and makes it work. Now, darling, if you hold the action key while walking or running, I'll automatically stop and pick up any object I go over. Pick up! exactly what this thing is. Looks like an alien moonshine machine. But I'm guessing it's some sort of teleportation device that'll beam me inside the mountain. These tanks on the side probably require some kind of fuel, and a lot of it. 
What would bunnies use for fuel? This ain't no ordinary carrot. I'm guessing that it has something to do with that strange electrical thingy right there. If you walk over the carrot and use the action key, I'll grab it. This weird looking red symbol must signify a place where I can do something. If I stand on it, jump, and use the action key, I can probably grab that strange hovering device. I bet this is some kind of pressure activated switch that responds to the weight of a bunny. Maybe if I jump on it, I can make something happen, like kicking that floating machine into gear. This metal plate probably moves when one of them big bunnies steps on it. I should jump on it and see what happens. This column is low enough for me to grab. If you jump and then hold down the action key, I'll grab the ledge, then tap the up arrow key, and I'll pull myself up on top to check it out. Pick up. green ball caused some bars to stretch out into the air. If I run, jump, and then use the action key to grab, I bet I can get onto the bars. Oh yeah, while holding the action key down, use the arrows to make me swing my way across, okay sweetheart? This metal... This is obviously some sort of lever-operated switch. Either that or an alien barbecue. Now, hon, if you use the action key, I'll throw the switch and we'll see what happens. They must. 
must feed this green juice to the zombies. If I walk up to it and you hit the action key, I'll put it away and drink it later when I need an energy boost. Zombie juice. They must feed this green juice to the zombies. Okay, if you hold the shift key down, I'll walk up to the edge but won't fall. Once there, tap the back arrow once and I'll step back far enough to do a run and jump to that next alien monolith. from side to side while hanging on a wall if you hold down the jump key and then tap the right or left arrow key. Now whenever you see one of these thingies, you can use the action key to save the game. Don't take too kindly to interlopers wandering around their secret compound. Expect to encounter deadly traps like this one here. Hmm, this little pylon has a round slot which seems to require some kind of key. I need to find something that could fit inside. I've never seen a bunny climb a ladder, but darling, if you walk up to it and use the action key, I can. Now you should know I can do more than just climb these things. While holding the action key, if you press the jump key, then tap the forward arrow key, I'll hop off the ladder, do a 180 in midair, and grab the ladder behind me.
conserve fuel. I'm thinking that this pylon controls this big old door. While standing in front of these, just use the action key, and if I have the right glowing ball, I'll automatically use it. The contraption has something to do with making varmints. Maybe I can destroy it and 86 these varmints. An old Wurlitzer. So, these bunnies like music, huh? Hey, a CD! I wonder if I could play it in that jukebox. A Jocelyn song. Zombie juice. I looked up that night and saw a bright scary light It turned out to be Zombie a UFO Zombie juice Sounds kinda funny I was kidnapped by bunnies And taken to the old volcano Well I was caged like a bird And I'm sure that you've heard All about aliens and such Now I think for my life He's gonna make me his wife And be the keeper of his squalid old hutch So my corpse is gonna faster Let you find all Rockets. the scepters And free me from this evil kind of king I love some indications how to face the situations on the shiny plastic musical things. Harry.